Good morning, it's Scarlett here, your image consultant and wardrobe stylist here to give you tips on to know what to wear and to talk about the times that you don't know what to wear and occasionally have guests to bring you tips to help make your life a little bit more stylish. And I just wanna first say, does anybody else ever do Facebook Lives where they have to you know, be all polished and look together, but they don't let on the fact that their son was just at the front door of covered with snow and I can't let him in the house that way. And he has to go to the back door and the dog is, the dog is barking furiously because there's somebody at the front door. And then my husband who wants to know why I can't do something because I'm doing a Facebook live. Anybody else ever had these issues where it's like, you're like all polished and all put together or trying to be, and there's chaos going on in the background. It's, it can't just be me. It just can't be me. I know that can't be me just me so anyway so as we're getting all ready you know christmas is a big deal in my house and um we're excited and uh we're gonna have my daughter's gonna be here with her with her incredible husband and the driving um and i'm just really you know i love this time of year even though it's a very different time of year but even though it is um a time of year that i usually do not work I um, am committed to giving you guys some tips and to help you uh, not get stressed out when you open up your closet. And there's um, a couple of things that I've been hearing from people, from women, and I just thought I would share a few of them with you because you might relate, you might understand, and you might think, hmm, is that me? And do I want that to be me? So I've been I've been helping women know what to wear by you know showing them what to have in their closet and how to have outfits that they can't wait to put on and how to you know go shopping and buy clothes that you actually want to wear and not waste your money on things that are just hanging in your closet with the price tags on and women are incredibly good at making excuses to not do something for themselves women are incredibly good at spending money on things that they think will help them make more money or bring some joy. And they're incredibly bad at doing things for themselves. And they're, it just really bugs me that people don't see the connection. I mean, many people do, frankly, because that's why I'm in business, but, but there are many women who don't see the connection of how they feel about themselves when they look in the mirror and how that affects how others see them. And it amazes me how they don't see that if you invest in how you feel about yourself, it'll totally transform your life, definitely transform your business and really transform your personal life. So there's a woman that, um, that I, you know, through a business group that we're in, mentioned that she's gained weight, is very miserable about how she looks, and on a scale of one to 10, she's a four. But she doesn't want to do anything. She just, you know, she said, I'm not in the mood to look good when nobody sees me. Let's think about this now. She feels like she's a, a four on a scale of one to 10. She's miserable about the fact that she's gained the, you know, some weight during this, you know, the COVID-15, 19, whatever it is for you, for me. And she feels uncomfortable. Now, this is a woman who is on camera on a regular basis in meetings and with her clients. But she doesn't want to focus on herself. So how is someone going to feel better about themselves if they don't like what they see in the mirror. If every time she gets dressed, she's feeling less than. She's getting upset with herself because of the weight gain, which is 
typical and very normal, and putting on her clothes that don't really fit right, and feeling crummy. How is that going to help your business if you're feeling crummy about yourself? I mean, it all is connected. It's all connected. I had another um, a woman that I spoke to. I just, I said to her, I'm stealing this line. It was so good. And she said that, you know, her friends were telling her that you got to dress better when you're on Zoom. I mean, obviously you should dress better all the time because you feel better, but you got to dress better when you're on Zoom. And this woman said to me, I'm going to look down. She said, I, I constantly live in a camouflage state of mind. Oh my God, that's so good. She lives in a state of mind where she dresses to disappear. She dresses to disappear. How can she attract clients? virtually on Zoom and again in a room if she disappears. It's a brilliant line, though, living in a camouflage state of mind. She knows that she disappears. She's found comfort in disappearing. The other woman who said that she's a four on a scale of one to ten is comfortable with that because making a difference, making a change can be really scary. But from the period of feeling like you're going to disappear or you are disappearing or feeling like you're not looking, feeling great about how you look and what you can be, I mean, the possibilities are endless. Um, a woman reached out to me and told me that she was totally overwhelmed by the clothes in her closet. And she's also gained some weight. I mean, most of my clients have, most of us have a few, like when I worked with yesterday has lost a lot of weight. So I mean, because she's not going out and eating incorrectly. So it happens. But anyway, so she, she gained weight and she had tons of clothes and, and, and a beautiful closet. And every time she walked in this closet, it made her feel uh, not worse, but it made her feel worse every single time. It made her get stressed every time because she was surrounded by clothes that no longer fit her or the ones that did fit her when she put them on. Something was not right. And so that every day she would start off the day with a negative feeling. She would feel worse. <laughs> the right way to say it. If anybody knows, tell me. She would feel um, less happy every single time she walked in her closet. So every day started with her feeling badly about herself. And she had heard me speak and she reached out to me and I helped her declutter her closet and create new outfits with the clothes that she had. When she was done moving out the clothes that just were no longer right for her. Maybe they fit 10 years ago, but now being 10 years older and a different lifestyle, they wouldn't work even if they did fit. So once this was all done, she, I mean, you, she literally, and this is so common, she literally felt lighter. Now when she walks in her closet, the only clothes that are hanging are the ones that fit her now. So now she has fewer clothes in her closet. The closet looks much better because it's less cluttered. She has new outfits she can pick from. And the clothes that she wants to wear again that are right for her are simply put away, boxed up, under a bed, hidden in another closet, but it's out of view. So now every morning when she walks into that closet, she can smile. She can feel more in control. She can feel lighter. She feels happier. She has made a change. And as scary as it was in her mind in the very beginning, what was scarier to her was not doing anything because it was bringing her down. She was feeling overwhelmed and it wasn't doing much for her self-esteem. So the people who say, 
who come up with excuses. And I'm going to tell you something. This the pandemic. It sucks, you know, to put it poetically. It's awful. I, I mean, there's no there's no doubt about it. But it's given women another excuse. I understand the beginning when people were like, "Ugh, I'm not going anywhere and thinking this is going to pass in a month. I understand that. I get that. I mean, I thought that too. But the woman that said to me, nobody sees her. Well, somebody really important sees her. The woman that had the too many clothes and, 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 and nothing was fitting her right and she didn't know what to do with her clothes. She saw herself every day. And every day it made her feel terrible until she took control. I mean, I helped her take control. When you say nobody sees you or I have no place to go, hello, you see yourself. Your family, if you live with family, sees you. When you're on Zoom doing meetings or presenting, you really want to have to worry about what you're wearing? But instead, you should be just enjoying the ability to communicate with people. I mean, it's just another chance to find an excuse. And I'm getting really annoyed at how many excuses people will come up with to avoid doing something for themselves. You know, I know I didn't think I was going to talk about this, but... Um, let me fix my screen here. Okay. I don't want you to see my vent. Um, when my mother was alive, 31, 32 years ago, uh, she, she, she got colon cancer. She had bad medical care. She had colon cancer. It had already had metastasized to her liver. And I had asked the doctor behind her back. I had asked the doctor, how much longer does she have to live? And the doctor told me one year. She really only lasted six months more, but one year. And it was devastating to me. I wanted to have a child. I wanted her to, 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 to be part of that. And um, the next day I went on a, uh, my um, 11th horseback riding lesson. I live in horse country. And I wanted to learn how to ride English saddle. I grew up on Western saddle and I wanted to learn how to ride English. And the horse that I usually ran on um, the road was not available. I forgot why. And so they gave me another horse, like the stallions, gorgeous horse. And this horse had just come up off another lesson. And it was the, the first cool day in, um, in the fall. So the horses were very frisky. And this horse named Petey did not want me on his back. And um, he just went crazy in the ring. And he was going around and around and around and around. And I remember the instructors yelling, yelling at me, let go of the reins, let go of the reins. And I let go. And when I let go, I flew off the horse and I landed on my back and I was in excruciating pain. And they got me in the ambulance and I get to the first hospital I was taken to. Um, and they, uh, came back with the results and they told me I broke my back. And then I slowly lost all feeling in the lower half of my body and could no longer, I no longer had control over the lower half of my body. And they put me in one of those um, tables where they rotate you. You know, your face is down for a while, then your face is up for a while. And I remember saying to myself, thank God. I don't have to think about my mutti as German for mother. I can just think about me. And I realized 30 something years later that it took a catastrophe to make me think about me. And, um, my husband found a brilliant surgeon, transferred me to another hospital, and they, they rebuilt my spine. And um, I can walk and I can function and no one, no one has to know that this ever happened to me. But it was scary because I only could move one toe. And they didn't know until the operation what they could do for me. So I see women who, 
who kind of do what I did, which was focusing. I was focused so much on getting my mother the right doctor and helping her and getting her in the city every day and putting her in our apartment and, you know, just fix her, fix her, fix her, fix her, that I forgot me. And I see too many women doing this all the time. They just, they just, want to focus on the things that they think are important and forget about the most important thing, which is yourself. I mean, really, it's you. You are the most important thing to work on, the most important person to work on. And, you know, they say, you know, when you're on the airplane, the oxygen mask comes down, put it on yourself before you help like your child. Well, you know, I, 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 we need to, we need to help ourselves so we can help others. And basically, my mission now is to help women help themselves. So when they feel better about themselves, they can do anything, anything. Anyway, I did not plan on this. This is not on my notes. So um, sorry for that. Um, but it took a hard lesson. And I and I and I realized that, you know, my life's work now is to help other women focus on themselves a bit. Why wait till you're old until all the children are grown? Why wait till you have less life ahead of you than you had when you were younger? I just, I don't get it. And I don't understand why some people don't realize the connection between business and what they wear and how they look. I just don't get it. Um, but the ones that do are really doing well. I mean, really well. I have clients whose businesses have grown during this time. I have clients who've met the love of their life during this time. I talk about a challenge, right? Dating in a pandemic. But it, it is amazing what can be done when you focus on yourself. So um, earlier this week, I sent a newsletter to my clients, to my, my not my clients, my subscribers, and which you can get on scarletimage.com. And um, I created, based upon the two most common issues women tell me, I created two services. The first service was um, when women tell me that they don't know how to put an outfit together. So I created a, you know, create outfits package where I take the photos. You, you, you send me the photos of your clothes and I use those photos and I create a whole bunch of outfits you didn't even know were possible. And I have a program where you get your own lookbook. It's really cool. And it's there for you forever. But the one that really, really uh, got a lot of interest was the declutter my closet option service. And I um, I made a special price, you know, for this year, because my prices are going to go up in uh, 2021. I got to get used to saying 2021. And the declutter my closet was like the clear winner. Because when you have clothes in your closet that you're not wearing, but you don't know what to do with them, you're not sure if you should let them go because maybe one day you can wear them again. Or, you know, I spent $200 on that suit in 1992 and I don't know. And well, until you get some help to help you get the things in your closet that are wrong for you, for the you you are now, you're always going to have a little bit of clutter in your head too. You're always going to say, one day I'll get to take care of that. One day I'll, I'll look at this. Well, one day if somebody can help me, one day, one day. Enough with the one days. Do now. Now is the time to do something for yourself. Now is the time. Not the one day anymore because time goes fast. I mean, it's eight months we're into this pandemic, people. Yeah, I'm really on a roll. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, so declutter my closet. I'm going to create that as a uh, an ongoing service. But right now, and I'll I'll put it in the um, in the link. Okay. So right now, if you click on that, you'll be directed um, where you can get the declutter your, my closet um, service. It's two ninety seven. That's a bargain, and you know it. And you send me the photos of the clothes in your closet. I will review everything. I will make notes. I will tell you what has to go and why, and what should stay and why. And you will have those photos in my notes forever for you to look at on a special web page that I create for you. I will be increasing that price for um, next year because it's a really popular service. I had no idea it was going to be such a um, Big deal. I mean, I knew it was a pressing thing, but get the stuff in your closet out. 
that is not right for you. You know that there are things in there you haven't worn in 10, 20 years, but women need permission to let it go. And I give that permission, but I don't just, I don't say that has to get out of here. I say, this is not right for you because the shape of that collar or the shoulder seam or the detail or where the waist is, is not right for you because there's a reason why. It's not just, no, get rid of it. It's not just, oh, it's not 10 years old, get rid of it. It's not, there are specific details. And based on the photos you sent me of yourself and your clothes, you get those details. So for 297, you can have a closet that either you walk into or open the doors and look at that will not make you crazy and haunt you. You can have a closet that you can have control of and find the clothes and the outfits that you can wear now so that when you look in the mirror, the most important person in the world will love who they see and what they see. You're the most important person. Because if you don't take care of you, your personal life and your business life cannot be as fantastic and lucrative as it can be. I need you to take care of you. So go to the link. You can uh, purchase it now. It's before the price goes up in um, January. I really want to help you get control. And I really wish you a wonderful Merry Christmas and uh, Hanukkah just passed and happy holidays. And, and I also am going to start saying that instead of Happy New Year, I'm going to say Happy New You. Or Happy You Year is really what I want to say. Happy You Year. Because as awful as everything is, and it's awful, when you take care of you, you can go through all of this in a much better place. The clients that I've worked with are in a much better mood than the women who are giving themselves low numbers on a scale and saying nobody sees them because they're not nobody. Anyway, remember, life isn't perfect, but your outfit can be. And with that note, I will not see you next week because it is my Christmas time uh, big deal in my house. But I will see you in the new year. And remember, if you want to get help to get out the clothes that are just making you crazy sitting in that closet, but you don't know why you should get rid of them or if you should get rid of them, get Declutter My Closet. You'll be very happy and pleased. I only can do, by the way, I only can do like one or two a month. So if you want to get this done, you kind of have to hurry up to get on the list because the first come, first serve kind of thing. All right. It takes me a lot of time to do this, but I want to help you. So again, happy you year. Bye-bye.